the video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can use the width profile and width tool in Illustrator. Now, I'm just going to go to the line segment tool. You can use it on any path, but I'm just going to use this for, for ease. So, just a single line and set it to 100 points. Good starting point is just go to var variable width profile and just select one of those. I'm just going to go to the top one, just select that. I've actually got one I just created earlier. This one down there. And you can add your own width profiles once you're happy with something. Now, it's a great starting point. And actually modify it a bit further. You can just go down here to the width tool. So just go along. And you'll notice there's a point already on there. It's the only one. There's one obviously this. So you can just go there. And you can just drag that out. You can't go any further. It just won't go that way. But you can go at that point. Just select there. And you see you can go along and you just go as far as the last one. So just hit that point and become a obviously, basic rectangle. And go back the other way as well. And you can add other points. So you just click there if you want. And just drag out. And you can click there or anywhere actually. All along this line you can just add as many as you want. I mean you've actually, if there's a, you've got a tool called from Astute Graphics. It's got a nice width tool. But, so you can add thousands of points to it. It looks like thousands of points anyway. I suspect there is a limit. I haven't tried it, so find what the limit is. But you can just go along and create some very, very unusual designs. Now, if you don't want a point, just click there. Just make certain you've actually got it selected and delete. You can accidentally, unfortunately, delete the entire line as well. So you have to definitely make certain you've actually got it selected. You can also, like I said, just drag that, move that, Move that along and so on and so on. Once you're actually happy with the design, then you can go up to the width profile, if you want to save it that is, and just click add to profiles. Now I always find some issues with the width profile, it does seem to lose them so I wouldn't uh, guarantee they're always going to be there. Certainly for my system it always does seem to vanish. So it lasts for a while but uh, not always. Right, there we have it. So it's great sort of designs. And not only that, you can also add it to any other path as well. So if you've actually got, and I'm just going to quickly go to, say, ellipse, just select there, and just go over here, just set 200 points there, and you can go down. And the one I just created, just select it there. You can see the very basic design, just very similar as that. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.